Hi guys, what's up, Jason here, and welcome back to a brand new FIFA 18 player review on my channel. And in today's video, guys, I'm going to be reviewing 82 rated inform Abubakar. So if you do want to go and pick this guy up and try him out for yourself, his price range on both Xbox One and PlayStation 4 is 10,250 to 100,000 coins. And looking at some of his in-game stats now, his dribbling pace, strength, and shooting categories are all in the low 80s. What is, you know, very, very good. Um, it's very, you know, well-rounded for an attacking player. So getting into this guy's first pro now, what is his strength? This guy is a very, very strong player. He has around 86 strength as his in-game stats. So, you know, he's very um, good at holding off players and he's very good at working um, as a um, target man striker. You know, good at holding up the play and winning headers in the box. So as I've already said, um, another one of his pros, as you can see there, is his hold-up play. You know, he's really good at doing that, especially, you know, if you want to play the ball into him, um, you can get your wingers to make runs off him and then you can play the ball back to them. And then the final pro I could find with this card was his heading. Even though I think he's only six foot, what is pretty tall, but it's not the tallest. Um, he's still pretty good at winning headers. Um, the majority of you know goal kicks I played up to him. He didn't manage to win the headers and then play it onto one of my um, other players. So yeah, that's another pro I could find with the card. Now moving on into the cons, the first con I could find with his card, and this was probably the biggest con, and that's how inconsistent this guy is. Um, you know, one match he would score a hat trick, then he wouldn't score for about three or four matches, and then he would score another hat trick. You know, this guy's just really inconsistent, and I'm not really sure why. Um, it did take me a few matches to get used to his card as well, just because um, he has a sort of like a weird dribbling style. Um, I'm not really too sure how to describe it, because he has um, a good dribbling stat, but he has really low agility. Um, so, you know, it makes his dribbling um, really weird. Um, and then in the final con I could find with this card was his positioning. Now, he does have medium defensive work rates as a striker, what, you know, isn't really the best. Um, it does mean he drops a little bit too deep at times, I would say, um, you know, occasionally. He does, like, not make the runs as well, you know, especially on counter-attacks. He usually seems to stay back rather than making, you know, the forward run. So that's just one thing to look out for um, when using this card. And there's the five-star skill moves um, and the three-star weak foot. And his weak foot seems to be pretty good for me. He scored a few goals on his weaker left foot, so I don't really think that's a con. And then overall, I think I'm going to give this card probably, I'd say, a 7.8 out of 10. Um, and I'll probably give him a 10 out of 10 for value for money, just because he goes for around 20,000 coins. And, you know, for the stats you do get on the card, that is very, very good. So, guys, this has been the review. If you have enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.